Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I'm going to be showing you how to sort a string or an integer array using C Sharp. So let's get right into it. So we have got our string array called data array. It's equal to a bunch of values. So we've got a bunch of names in this array in no particular order. Then we're going to print the contents of the array. So we can use string.join, comma, data array, which is referenced in our string array here. And this is going to print out all elements of our array, but separate them with a comma. We're going to do the same thing again, and then we're going to do console.readkey to make sure the application doesn't close. To sort the array, we can do array.sort data array. This basically speaks for itself. It's going to overwrite the existing array with a version of that array with the data sorted in ascending order. So let's save our code and hit play to see what happens. As you can see, it's Bob, Jeff, Jeff, Norton, Dave, Peter in their original order, but then we've sorted the names into ascending order. But what if you want to do a descending order? Well, to do descending order, we still need to sort our array in order, but then what we can do is we can reverse the array, because think about it, if we're doing ascending order, but we reverse the array, then it becomes descending order. So after you do array.sort, do array.reverse. Save your code and let's see what happens. As you can see, we've got the original um, order there, but then we've got a descending order where the names are going from P down to B. Now we have an int array called data array again, and we've, I've populated it with a bunch of values in random orders. I'm sure you'll like some of the numbers. We have then got the same console.write line statements, which will print out the entire array on one line with commas in between each element. So how do we sort this? Well, we can do the exact same thing that we did for our string array. We can do array.sort data array. This works in the exact same way as before. So let's hit play and see it in action. As you can see, we've got the original order of our numbers. Then we have the ascending order. If we want to do a descending order, we can literally do the same as before. So we do array.sort data array, then we do array.reverse data array. So we're sorting the data, then we're going to reverse the order of every element in the array, so it becomes a descending order as opposed to an ascending order. Save the work, hit play. As you can see, we are now going in a descending order from 42069 down to number 2. So that's it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed, then be sure to subscribe as we have many more C Sharp tutorials that are going to be coming out and we already have up on the channel. And leave a comment if you enjoyed or if you got a request. And like the video if it helped you because it would help signal to people that this code is useful. And if you don't like the video, feel free to dislike it, but no one else will see because YouTube hides dislikes for some reason. Thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.